Hey guys, welcome back to another Surgical Tech Tips. This video today is going to be all about the table-mounted abdominal retractor, the Bookwalter. Going to be taking you through the entire tray, showing you all the little tidbits about it, and also small little comparison between a couple other systems that we have here at my hospital, um, like the Thompson and the Omnitract. Stay tuned. So first things first, what type of cases are you going to be using a book walter or any type of table mounted uh, abdominal retractor? Pretty simple answer there that it's going to be any big open belly case. Small bowel, large bowel, anything uh, pelvic, anything in the retroperitoneum, kidneys, abdominal aortic aneurysm, stuff like that. Deep abdominal retraction, that's what, we are, that's what we're aiming for with this system. Now conversely, you're going to want to have this, some type of retractor like this on hold for those big belly cases that are laparoscopic as well. As a just-in-case situation, if you have to convert to an open belly procedure, you want to have this type of thing in your room. Now let's pop the trays open and let's check them out. Now the Bookwalter set is, is huge. It's a lot of pieces. So it comes in two trays that we have here at my hospital. We have one tray for the table mount, bars, and, and rings that are used for the system. And on our separate tray, we have all of our ratchets and blades of different sizes to be able to be utilized on the ring itself. Now let's go over individually what and how all of these things come together on the field. All right, first things first, the table mount. Now that the table bar is on, we're going to need a crossbar that comes out over the patient's belly and attaches the ring that goes around the abdomen of the patient. So we will be using this big, big clamp with the crossbar. Now that the crossbar is installed on there, it's time for our ring to go over the patient's abdomen. These are the ratchets that are in your book Walter set. These ratchets are used to hook up a retractor to the ring of the retracting system itself. Now there are three types of ratchets in each of these sets and each of these ratchets basically just give a varying degree of retraction and angle. So again, starting with the smallest ratchet, single action double action triple action now as far as the variety of blades that you have to choose from they're all just different depths of Richardson style type retractors. We have a Harrington back here, bladder blade, and different widths and lengths of malleable retractors that you can utilize. Last little bits of this tray that we have are essentially just a different bar, a different crossbar that you could use that has a ball and socket joint so you can maneuver the ring around uh, in different angles. 
and also a different ring setup. This is kind of a custom ring setup to where you can screw these in place and give a little bit of angle to the ring rather than having just a rigid ring around the abdomen of the patient. So that's pretty much it. That's the Bookwalter system. Now, in comparison to the other table-mounted abdominal retractor systems like the Thompson and the OmniTrack, um, I don't want to pop open those trays and go through them just because I, I don't want to open a bunch of trays up. Um, but they are very similar in their use cases and in their uses. Uh, the main difference between the Bookwalter and the OmniTrack and Thompson are, are that the Bookwalter utilizes that big ring that goes around the, the entire abdomen. Uh, Thompson and OmniTrack use a system of, of bars and kind of like bent bars and 45 degree angle bars and stuff like that to go around the abdomen. Instead of the ratchets that you utilize on the Bookwalter, uh, it's, it's basically just uh, little clamps. Uh, that you'll fit the retractors through and tighten them down. Also, one very important thing to recognize as a scrub tech uh, is that in any of these big open abdominal procedures, most likely you're going to have uh, a fluid warmer on the field with you with a bunch of sterile saline on the field. Uh, I would have at least four to five laps sitting in that sterile saline because as the surgeons start putting blades in the abdomen, they're gonna be utilizing laps to cover the, the tissue that the blades are retracting on, just to help you know, reduce any trauma to any uh, tissue that they're retracting on. And that's it, ladies and gents. I hope you enjoyed the video and this little tidbit into the book Walter and table-mounted uh, abdominal retractor systems. When I was a student and coming into a hospital the first time, the idea of setting up this system was really daunting to me and it was really confusing because I hadn't seen any of that at all, really, throughout my schooling. So uh, I hope this helps some of you out there that have to use this system or maybe some students out there. Thanks always for watching, commenting, uh, sharing, and subscribing. I really appreciate it. And all it does is help grow the channel and helps you know get this get this information out there to the public and to all the students out there all right i'll see you guys again bye